Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. You made it. This is the last of the mini-series on the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and we conclude with chastity. Chastity can be misunderstood. For some people, they think it's for priests and religious only, but that's not true. Chastity has to do with lay people as well. Before marriage, we are all called to be chaste. Once we are married, we are to be faithful and chaste to everyone else but our spouse. As religious and clergy, we are called to remain chaste. For single people, they are called to remain chaste as well. Chastity is for all people of all age levels. Every baptized person is called to chastity according to their stage in life. The Catechism says that chastity is a moral virtue. It's also a gift from God, a grace full of fruitful spiritual effort. The Holy Spirit enables one whom the water of baptism has regenerated to imitate the purity of Christ. So the fruit of the Holy Spirit of chastity has to do with having a pure heart and to use chastity as a means to growing in holiness that we don't just give in to our human desires. Chastity means that we give ourselves to Jesus completely. Each vocation is called to live a chaste way in their own lives, as I mentioned. Chastity means not indulging in our physical desires and being pure of mind and body. Chastity continues to be a big problem in our world right now. At a time where sex sells, we are called to go beyond that lustfulness that many people have and how the devil uses our sexuality in a different way than God intends our sexuality to be. By the way, our sexuality is not just linked to sexual intercourse, but chaste disciples of Jesus can be living their sexuality in its purest form by being chaste. the love between a husband and wife, they exercise chastity by remaining faithful to each other for as long as they both shall live. They promise to never betray that trust on the day of their wedding and is to be exercised every day through their marriage. Priests, women religious, Bishops, archbishops, cardinals, the Pope, we are called to live chastity by the way we live our lives. Before one is to get married, they are called to live a chaste life too. How can we have a pure heart? How can we use chastity Not a means of ruining our life, but freeing us from those sexual passions. Freeing us from that innate nature to just long and lust for someone that we find attractive. God indeed has made many beautiful human beings that may turn our head when we see them. And acknowledging their beauty is not sinful or bad in itself. But when we live a chaste lifestyle, we can acknowledge the beauty of God without falling into the traps of sinfulness. The Holy Spirit can help us to see the beauty in other, but still in a very holy and pure way. 
the fruit of chastity, like yesterday's fruit of self-control, helps us to be disciplined, to seek what God sees, not to give in to temptation, but to rise above temptation. By remaining faithful to our vocational call in life, friends, and when we exercise the fruit of chastity, we give glory to God. For indeed, God is faithful, and he calls us to be faithful too. Our challenge is to cultivate this chastity character within ourselves by using this fruit of the Holy Spirit to help us to always have a pure heart. The sacrament of reconciliation helps us when we slip, and yet we don't want to abuse the sacrament by not doing our part to enhance that relationship. God expects us to live a life with a pure heart, not a lustful eye. God is clear in the scriptures of his expectation to live accordingly. And so we need his grace to help to sustain us, to teach us discipline, to exercise self-control, and to live according to our vocational call. So how can each of us grow in the fruit of chastity? Let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us as individuals and one another to grow in not only receiving the gift, but utilizing it. So we make decisions each day that are holy and pleasing to our God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirits so we shall be recreated as you renew the face of the earth. For God's Playbook, friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.